Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Snap Automation inside of Logic 10. So Snap Automation simply means that any of your automation points, your nodes, will actually snap to a rhythmic or musical part of your grid. Now that's really nice and helpful for a lot of reasons. Obviously, if you're creating rhythmic transitional effects, sweeps, right? But even using it on things like low pass, high pass, panning, right? Volume is another one. Make Having the volume rise on beat with your track is another great way to make your transitions with your automation just sound more musical. So let's check it out. So I have a bass track right here. Right now, the next section of this track that you didn't just hear is uh, getting, uh, it's like going into the next section. Right, so it's bigger. So I'm gonna apply some simple EQ, uh, taking out some low frequencies to accentuate the next section. So I'm gonna load up the single band EQ and let's turn the frequency down to 20. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard and I'm now going to hit the knob on the, what I'm looking at, which is in this instance, single band EQ. I'm gonna hit that. Now, as I hit that, look over here and you'll see that it changes from volume to frequency. So now we're at our, we've activated our, our uh, frequency. So I can click in and start to drag in some points. So I got a couple points in here. Now, you'll see if I click and drag around, it doesn't, I can actually end up in between a section of my grid. Now, I want to take out some of the low frequencies from tw bar 12 here up until about, you know, bar 13, 13.3. 13 I want it to pretty much be, uh, I want most of the high frequent or low frequencies to be gone. So what I'm gonna do is create another point and we're gonna just take that up to there. And I'm just testing out frequencies here. So let's take this up to about a thousand. And let's listen. Okay, so that's a good amount of frequency. Now this is really abrupt, obviously. So right now I'm not snapped to the grid. I'm gonna right click on my automation lane here and hit snap automation. Now, before you do this, you might want to investigate your automation preferences. I have the snap offset set to zero and I have the ramp time set to 200 milliseconds. You can play around with those, you'll get different results. So now when I drag this, notice that's snapping to the grid. So what I'm gonna do is make a couple more points and every every about half, half a bar here, I'm gonna start to move my frequency. But before I'm gonna do that, let's get in the rest of the ticks here. We'll make one at 13 as well. So now we have these points. So what I'm gonna do is just raise this up, raise this up, and I'm just kind of guessing right now, just trying to make like a shape that curves up ever so slightly. And I think it'll be way too abrupt at the end. So we're gonna take this down and actually just bring that out a little bit. And we'll make that go a little bit higher and that one as well. So now let's listen to our bass. Let's listen in context. All right, so I want it to actually happen a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna drag these back, but you'll see that they're snapping. I don't have to really worry. It's all gonna be, I don't have to really think about it. It's all on grid right now. So let's try this. So definitely not the most extreme setting and example, but I wanted to highlight that this can actually have an effect on the sound and the automation, even with something as simple and slight as taking out some low frequencies. So let's look at it, another example, on some pitch rolls on an 808. Okay, you get the idea. So this is a little bit different of a process because it's MIDI information, it's MIDI automation. So open up your piano roll, then you're gonna go to show and hide MIDI right? And for our show and hide automation. And from there, you're going to select what you want. This is selected to pitch bend. There'll be things like sustain pedal, expression, etc. Now from here, you want to go to your snap, smart, click it, and they'll drop down menu will appear. You want to click active, and then you can choose your, once it's active, you can choose your grid value. So we'll go active. And I think I had this when I made this at a 30 second note. For instance, if I go here and move this, it's snapping at a 30 second note value. If I go and change the value, to a 16th note, I won't be able to get to this exact same point right now in the middle of these tick marks, right? It's gonna go to this one or that one, no in between. 
So let's change that back real quick. I'm gonna go to Snap Automation. We'll choose 30 second note value. All right, let's look at this little section over here because uh, this isn't actually set and Snap to a grid. You can see it's in between grid points and you know we might be able to get this pitch down here to make more sense. So let's go and go to our grid. Let's see what we're at, we're at 60, 30 second note. Let's keep it on that. We could change it and it won't affect these. For instance, if I uh, go here and move this, It'll move this to a 30 to a 64th note grid now without affecting that, which is quite nice, right? So let's take this back and we'll have this go. Yeah, 64th note values might be good for this. We'll have these now snap to grid. So every 64th note value, we're moving down in the uh, the pitch here. So this might sound a little bit more. We might hear a little bit more of it because I want it to stop at 14.3 because that's where the snare happens. So I'm actually gonna drag this back, maybe just a 64th note before that grid. Right, so now we can really hear it. It's more of a prominent effect as, as opposed to it was kind of floating. The It started like right in there. So it's still on grid. We still get the effect of the pitch down and the open section with that snare. Right, it just sounds more smooth. It makes more sense. Everything's cohesive and is glued together. So as you can see, it's quite easy to set up snap automation inside of Logic 10, whether it's in the main range editing window or your piano roll. If you guys have any questions, post them and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.